Rage is a martial arts action film starring Gary Daniels. Uh, you may recognise him from adaptations of Fist of the North Star, a Japanese manga back in the 90s. Um, he played Kenshiro uh, and he was also in the first Expendables film. He plays a primary school teacher who gets kidnapped by a government organisation and injected with a concoction of drugs that cause him to just become a berserking killing machine. Uh, he can't stop himself, he just has to punch, kick, shoot, kill. Um, this causes him to escape from the premises where he's being held, which by the way, they were previously using Mexican immigrants, but because they're so small and weedy, they needed a big, strong <laughs> white man, apparently. Uh, they do play on the fact that all the people in the organisation that captured him are racist, including the sort of really stereotypical racist Texas cop um, sheriff type character. Um, so they're, they're aware of what they're saying and doing. Um, and then that's the film plot really. You have an hour and a half of him punching, kicking and shooting his way through various police, um, general bad guys, thugs, anyone who happens to get in his way. He only calms down every now and then when he first goes to see his um, sensei, then his family and meets with a reporter. The reporter is probably the most interesting thing in the film because there's these excellent scenes at his um, studio office where he has these exchanges with his colleagues and his boss that make you think, well I want to watch a film about this reporter guy, not about Gary Daniels. Um, and you know, you can see the actor playing him is really putting in the effort. Although when you're looking at the scene in the uh, in the office, you can see that instead of turning the computer screens on, they've got pictures of text stuck on the screens, and it really, really stands out. Uh, so keep, you can keep an eye out for that. As far as the quality of the action scenes go, uh, Gary Daniels is a really good martial artist. Uh, I wouldn't describe his style as sort of balletic or anything like that. Uh, he's more sort of heavy shots and um, solid kicks and punches, uh, but he's very good to watch. Um, the only thing that sort of plays against him in this kind of film is that he's a very big chap. Um, he's got a very big frame and it sort of makes him look clearly more intimidating and better physically than a lot of the people he comes up against. I mean, he can't help how he's made, but when he's meant to play a primary school teacher, it just can look a little bit silly. It's a shame he wasn't a little bit smaller or he lost some muscle for this role, but back when this was being made in the mid 90s, <laughs> that kind of thing wasn't an issue. Um, there are some absolutely ridiculous action scenes in this. There's one where he falls from a helicopter that's above a skyscraper through probably, I don't know, three, four hundred feet of air, then goes through a sheet glass roof, then lands, not in a swimming pool, but just on the ground. Goes, ah, and then gets up and walks away. Um, then there's also a sequence where he's sort of riding on the roof of a HGV, full of petrol, I think, um, and then that crashes into a bus, and he jumps off just as it crashes and explodes in the massive ball of flames and you cut to him sort of landing on the ground after having done this massive jump, rolling over, getting up and just sort of clutching his stomach a little and going, ah, and then walking off and then taking on more bad guys. That's the kind of thing you're in for with this film. Is it worth watching? Yes, if you like sort of those cheesy 90s action films. Um, it's available on Amazon Prime at the moment as part of your subscription, so you can go check it out. They seem to have bought an entire back catalogue of Gary Daniels stuff so if you like this then there are more on there for you to watch and yeah you know it's of a serviceable quality but what elevates it is the chap playing the newsreader so check it out if you like uh, 90s martial arts action flicks.